I have found myself completely and totally inspired by my new velvet fabrics, but I don't sew a whole lot. It's been 10 years since I've got out my sewing machine. I know how to cover canvases and recover chairs, but I've never really done a whole lot of reupholstering. And well, this sewing machine, <laughs> you can see the dust on it. And since I'm painting dresses for the last couple of years, well, I have an idea. I'm thinking I can make a three-step easy DIY detachable train. I've been saving this dress for a couple of years, unsure of how I wanted it to look. I realized I don't want this train on here. Maybe I can make a new one. So I thought at first that I would find a way to attach the detachable train to it. Ah, hence the word detachable. I changed my plan. I couldn't figure out a way to make a seamless transition between the velvet and the dress. But then I thought, okay, if I decide on a velvet and take one side and just fold it over, stitch it down, kind of like a curtain, surely I can do that, right? So I decided on this blue that I'm calling my Blue Rose Mixed Media. This, yeah, that's the one I want. So for my supplies, I got some making powder from DIY Paint. I also grabbed some of our pink in the new Painterly Paint. It's kind of like a watercolor slash gouache, but so much better. I used my shortstop brush and created a bowl of paint. And after I wet the entire satin dress down, I just started in in a very organic way of creating the pink leaves and flowers. And just sitting in this room with all of the things that I love so much, my artwork, my furniture, the fashion, and the paint. Oh my goodness, the paint. Each dress has a mind of its own and inspires me just the way that my furniture makeovers always have. I just want to save something from being thrown away. How many times do you hear of somebody storing a wedding dress in the back of their closet for year after year after year? Well, I just think it might be a little bit time that we do something with those. So adding the gold with my fan brush was a really beautiful way to complement the leaves. I put off getting out the sewing machine for as long as I could, and I thought, how hard can this be? I will remember how to thread a bobbin, right? Or how to thread a machine. It'd been 10 years. How hard can it be to sew a straight line on four feet of fabric? Well, it might have taken me a little longer than I imagined it would or had hoped, but I did figure it out, and I did come up with a design. So I took my fabric and cut off the white edge. Little did I know I would also be using that white later. I went through this step by step, took my time, pinned everything down. I honestly just had to keep reminding myself that the end result would be worth it. I wanted the whole project to come together so badly that I just pressed through and every time the thread would break and I would have to start over, it kept catching and it wouldn't run through the needle very smoothly. I know I was doing something wrong and I still haven't really figured out what it was, but I did get that one seam finished. So I grabbed some teal velvet that I thought was going to be perfect. And as I was kind of playing with it and styling it and photographing, I decided that that teal velvet ribbon was too harsh. And then Matt reminded me that I had the white velvet that I had cut off. So that ended up being the waste for the detachable train, but I still had to figure out how to get rid of some of this extra fabric. So towards the top, I decided I needed to kind of cut inwards so around the waist would have less of the fabric gathered, but it would not lose the depth down at the bottom of the train. Again, that was another one of Matt's ideas.
And since I've decided to call this something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue, <laughs> I grabbed my box of vintage pens that my friend had sent me. We went with this iris pen. It's kind of a lavender floral and the petals seem to match what I had painted organically on the dress. Yep, I think we've got it and we're ready for our model, Madison. This fabric is one of 12 in my new release, Efflorescence. I'm excited to see all of your projects, so be sure if you do something with the fabric that you tag me on social media and you use the hashtag. That's so TTI. So while I was tying this around Madison, we also decided to try it as a capelet and do something a little bit more vintage or retro. So we took some shots of her. I think it just looks fun. I could also see this paired with a pair of jeans and some boots and maybe even a little bit shorter. But it's a beautiful accessory, adds so much color and dresses up any outfit. I really enjoyed it as a capelet too because there are sometimes brides don't necessarily know what to wear over their shoulders and it's cool or they're leaving and it's a winter wedding and I've even seen with snow on the ground. So why not wrap it around your shoulders? And of course my boho hats that I hand paint are the perfect addition to this hand painted composition and well, I think it looks stunning. 